Okay, we already learned to uh, compute things like this, uh, definite integrals of polynomials in uh, C9. Uh, now we're going to do um, some more complicated examples. Okay, this is what I'd like, I'd like to call a polynomial in disguise. Um, this isn't really a polynomial because we have a polynomial divided by a polynomial. So as much as you would like to just use the power rule here, it's not correct to say that this is Uh, this makes no sense at all. Okay, this is not correct. Um, to use the power rule, we need single variables to a power, added or subtracted to single variables to a power. This is not that. This is variable to a power divided by variable to a power. And another way that you could uh, see that this is not at all correct is try and take the derivative of this. If you took the derivative of this thing, you would not get this, okay? And that's, this is the antiderivative. So, so if you got to here, you'd be saying, the function whose derivative is this is this, and if you took the derivative of this thing, you would see that it would not be that. Okay. So we have to do a little algebraic simplification. Now we've gotten this thing down to x to a power plus x to a power. Now we can use the power rule. Take the antiderivative of x to the negative 1, that's ln x. Antiderivative of 3x squared, 3x cubed over 3, evaluated from 1 to 2. You may like that notation better, because it really shows us that this and this are applied to the whole thing. Now going back up, evaluating, we have ln2 plus, those will go away there, 2 cubed minus ln1 plus 1 cubed. Alright, ln of 1 is 0.
Again, we're going to try to rewrite this thing as x to a power. So there we go. All right. Now that we have it as x to a power, we can use the power rule. don't like dealing with that square root of 3, pop them out to the front. So 1 half plus 1, that's a half, divide by that amount, dividing by a half is the same as multiplying by 2. At this point, you could use your calculator to approximate if you so desire. Let's do another polynomial in disguise. Now let's see, 2 is 4 halves, 4 halves minus 1 half, that'd be 3 halves. Now we have x to a power, x to a power, we can now use the power rule. We could not use the power rule with this thing.
Notice the difference. Here we don't have just x's to a power. Here we have x's isolated to a power. That's, when you, that's the only time you can use the power rule. Negative one half plus one, that's a half. Let's see, three halves plus one. Now, one we can think of as two over two. So that's three, four, five halves. times 2 there, we know is a 4. So I've set up to put in my bounds. So remember it's top minus bottom, so 2 and 2 and 1 and 1. Okay, so 4 root 2 plus 2 fifths square root of 2 fifth power minus 4 minus 2 fifths. Yes, a very ugly number. I agree. Still, this is a problem out of the book. So this is what you should expect is things that look like this. What's most important to me is the process, 